A teenage boy is dead, shot on the city's northeast side. He was found on the ground by a school bus driver who had a bus full of kids at the time. If I could say anything, scenes like that, it's just not okay. It's draining. The boy's body found just after 6.30 this morning, not far from 38th and North Post Road on Indy's northeast side. And now we're learning the boy was a student at Arsenal Tech High School, and he was on his way to the bus stop when he was shot. Our Rafael Sanchez has been at the scene of the shooting all morning, talking to police and the community. He joins us live on this midday with the very latest. Rafael. And Megan, a horrifying and heartbreaking start to the school day here in this neighborhood. That 15-year-old was right behind me at that intersection early this morning, but he never made it to his first period class at Arsenal Technical High School in Indianapolis. Malachi Walker felt the need to be across 38th and Breen. When you see the lights, when you see the tape, when you see... What do you see? What, 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 are you, what are you thinking about at this moment? Well, every time I see lights like this and crime tape up, first thing comes to mind, I feel uh, sad, heartbroken. This is the neighborhood where an IPS school bus driver on her route spotted the body of a teenage boy on the ground. She called 911 for help. The victim pronounced dead at the hospital. Aren't you tired of coming to these sites? Yes, I am. I won't admit it. I mean, yes, I am. I'm tired of coming to these places, but I'm called to do that, and I'm not going to stop doing it. Walker is a pastor. His church, 15 minutes away from this neighborhood. For the past 29 years, he's led an outreach program for youth in an effort to keep young people on positive paths. And we want them to turn their lives around. We want them to know that uh, there are some... Uh, um, good people who work with you that they can get involved in. And it's all about making good choices. And I just heard shots, three shots. And I was like, wow. Chevelle Jones says living with the sound of gunfire has become a way of life, especially, she says, in an era when it seems to her that everyone is walking around with a gun. Everybody walking around with guns. So you know, I didn't make it, you know, I was like, well, I hope no one get killed. That's what I did say. I did say that. It's hurtful because you don't know when, because guns, I mean, bullets don't have a name, and any innocent bystander can get hurt from it. Much for sure. I just wish everyone just uh, think before they react and be careful and stay safe because our children is being killed. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate you. Back live here at the city's northeast side, in light of that fatal shooting, crisis counselors are being made available to both students and staff at Tech High School there in Indianapolis. Should point out, Megan, that I did have a chance to walk around the neighborhood. As you can see behind me, a police squad car is still here. Some folks did not want to open their door because they are afraid, but those that did open the door did give me another insight, and they tell me that between the hours of 2 a.m. through 6 a.m., often in this neighborhood, it sounds like the 4th of July because of the gunfire. We spoke to one person about that. My colleague Adam Schumes will have her story coming up all new on the News at 6. For now, that is the latest here from the city's northeast side. Rafael Sanchez, WRTV.